called on the 1st of May 1916 for a fight against uh, imperialist war and for uh, freedom, basically. What the hell? 1916? An important, we know that day. an important year. We know that day. Yeah, and and are globally at that time, I believe there's a lot of people moving towards more democratic styles of yeah, government yeah. and all that. See, this is the socialist that got to me this earlier on. They were telling me East Berlin. They were telling me all sorts of stories yeah, about yeah, the history yeah. of socialism, and then they were like, "The future is we all we don't have to work, and we all have meaningful, uh, you know, we do things to help the betterment of yeah, the planet yeah. together." And um, they started getting into my brain, like, you know? <laughs> you know? So that's going to influence you for the rest of your trip now. Look at well. that, man. Look at that for influence. Fucking yeah. hell. Unbelievable, lads. No, no way. No way of back no from way. them. No way of oh, back well. from them. Oh, well. Oh, that's a look at that for a building. Some nice design and architecture around here. What's, is there some kind of special history about Potsdamer Platz? It was the... Hopefully I'm not telling lies here. Yeah, it was the uh, centre of Berlin in uh, sort of the 1920s. So like, if you watch if you watch Cabaret, the film, a lot of Cabaret, that shit was all yeah. set up around here. And the, that thing, this is like uh, fucking boring track. That green yoke there, see the traffic light off it. That was uh, yeah. that was uh, uh, one of the first traffic lights in Europe. What? So that's how they used to look at. There you go. This is this. We is gotta go. We stream. gotta yeah, go yeah. see that. That's that's insane. This is the transport stream. That's beautiful yeah, yeah. stuff. Bendy curves. We just make sure the bloody stream is still going, it's actually. actually. Oh, great stuff. Klim Crew tour guide. Klim, <laughs> Klim Crew knows his onions. Transport heaven. <laughs> the pressure's on. I don't think I've ever given the tour to, what, 600 people? Or how many people? 641, it yeah, says there. Yeah, usually it's more in the 20 to 30 range. And 640 people is... Uh, much here. We're trying to get knocked down by your point here. Yeah, and, and interestingly enough, maybe none of the people there are in, in the place that you're giving the tour that's to also, as well. That's also, yeah. Well, probably yourself, but yeah, that's yeah. obviously... That's, that's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a look at this uh, traffic light. So this is the first ever traffic lights in Europe. And wouldn't you believe it? It's the Germans that fucking came up with the concoction as well. It looks elaborate. It looks like it's a human operated in some ways. There's a little booth up above a clock. We might have to go, to we might have to go around it. Let's have a look. Crazy bit of business. <laughs> My mates are not texting me here watching the stream. <laughs> Big shout. Do you want to give a shout out to your mates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying again. So Fionn, better known as O'Brien's Wine. He's working now in a hospital. O'Brien's so Wines. He's working. Yeah, yeah. Mines. He tipped in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you knew him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, my mate Chris. He's here as well. He's watching. Well, look uh, at this, lads. Shout out. Look, look at, at this. this. Red at the moment. And I believe there must be some way in, in which uh, a man can stand inside that and start dishing out light, <laughs> light, a light show, so to speak, for the cars that... And traffic there around. Might just go. In. Oh, now yeah, it's yeah. gone amber. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And then we've gone for a greener, which is signaling to those cars down there, is it, or what's the story? Who, who's that imagine, signaling? I would imagine it probably. Imagine it probably the junction was probably a bit different. Yeah. As you know, with the war, everything got well. To put it bluntly, everything got fucked here in Berlin, basically. Yeah. So you could imagine. Uh, you can imagine that most of this would have looked different. Like that's where all the buildings. Are. I presume this is where you're staying over here. Yeah, that's. that's I'm thing. actually right at the top yeah, of the yeah. DB building. They give oh, me yeah. a pen, oh, yeah. you took it over. penthouse suite for the night. Yeah, yeah. But well, seeing as you're the one who's, you know, you're selling their, uh, you're selling their nine euro tickets to the world. Selling, I wouldn't selling, be surprised. Yeah, their ticket, their app, everything. You know, if they brought it over. Yeah, yeah. But um, oh, it's an incredible piece of architectural wonderment around here. You've got a big crossroad scenario, traffic heaven. If you wanted to spend a bit of time just looking at the traffic coming and going you've got it there uh, Kreuzberg is that way yeah. 0.3 kilometres 300 metres yeah, yeah, really so yeah, is yeah. that where we are uh, right. no so we're, st we're still in Mitte district actually here's the Berlin Wall as well by the way actually. Jeez, not a great wall, is it? Well, no, in fairness, it's like, there's not much to exactly stop you from going east to west. But that just means, yeah, Berlin Wall, 61 to 89. So we on the east? Uh, west. west. So basically the joke is, if you can read it right, if the letters are the right way, you're on the right side. Because the west won, they get to be the right side. The east lost. So How come the they side. managed to, to get that little thing in where they, they're reading it on their side rather than... Well, because the west won. Yeah. 